Got a little challenge here on my credit report. Okay, now they just disarmed me. That's cool. Now you open the door. But they're going to sit back and act like they got good. And they don't, they got problems. I ain't letting you in my building. The property manager is a mediator. Keep the grounds, security, maintenance. You have to know the law. You have to market vacant units. And you will never rent a unit that's not 100% rent ready moved in, move in condition. If you do, you're going to get a terrible tenant. Because who in the hell would take a unit that's sub unit? Yeah. Only somebody a sub tenant to do it. And you're going to get sub rent. And they're going to get sub service. There's going to be a sub building. You see, you're going to run it right. Well, I don't want you to do it. Because you're not going to like the experience. And you're going to blame me. I don't want to blame me. Those guys didn't pay me. Did you get a credit report? Uh, my question is, as far as like property management and doing credit reports, there's fees and all those things. Yeah. Do you have money set aside already and play for that type of thing? That comes out of the rents. That comes out of the rents. And it doesn't matter if you charge it anyway. If you do an appraisal, it's going to be put in. If you do a performance, it has to be put in. The bank is going to put it in. Yeah. It does not matter. You understand? Now, with the underwriting we did on, on these 34 units, um, he didn't have property management, but he had a lot in maintenance and repairs. So, mm, the maintenance and repairs is kind of high. He said, yeah, some of that is property management. I kind of, yeah, he kind of put it in. So I lowered it to what I thought would be normal, and then I put a separate property management thing in. When I added it together, it came a little bit more than what he had, but it wasn't a full property management fee topped on side of already a high maintenance budget. You understand? And the building is just gorgeous. I mean, this rent just the most gorgeous building you've ever seen. So you find yourself doing, y'all getting ready for this? All right, here we go. When did you make the money? Tell me. When you sell. Mm -hmm. When you purchase. When you mm -hmm. buy. When you control. Let me put it like this. Monday at 12 o'clock, I'm going to sign a purchase agreement. And when you walk out of there, I will have just potentially made me $500,000. Now i got to get the money. <laughs> but I got control of the deal. Now it's in my hands, skillful hands, to get that money. You understand what I mean? When you control the deal, that's when you make the money. At the point that you control it, because you can flip it, assign it. Right. You can do so many different things when you have it. And I always put the pri highest price because I never know what's going to happen. Southfield townhouses, I, I, I was buying it myself. The seller was going to take 900 so I put a million two in. Except that I found somebody that liked it for a million two and gave me $25,000 and took my purchase agreement. So I made the difference between 900 and a million two, plus I made the $25,000 for the sign. Wow. Now at the closing, they weren't happy. Because they found out I got 300000 out of this area. And you charged me twenty five? dollars mm -hmm. Give me the money. He liked the deal at the time. And it was a hell of a deal. See, here's the point, is that you got to get a deal. If you ain't get a deal, forget it. I'm not going to allow you just to buy anything. Here, look, how, what do you think about this? Yeah, what, what do I think about? I don't know. What's good? All they want is $2 billion. Hell, it's worth $500,000. It's got to be a good deal. I will not allow you to do anything that's not a good deal. This doesn't make sense. Don't try to force the deal, twist it upside down, bang it in the wall. It's going real easy. It is good. Why did they have to know that you made that? Huh? Why did they have to know? Couldn't you have arranged it so they didn't have to know that that's what you well, no, the reason, that's a very good point. The reason that it ended up doing it, because I ended up managing the building. These guys came, and uh, they did the deal. They gave me $25,000, and they are going to give me another 100000 if the building had a certain cash flow. And they signed that deal up front. But at the time of closing, when they got all the money, they looked at me. Said, wow, you did pretty good. Yeah, it's worth it. It's good. They knew that I, I got paid. I, it was an assumption. It must have been an assumption or something. But whatever it was, they found out that I got paid this big money. And they were like, shocked? What? You know, you got that much money and you charged me 25? I said, it's a deal. I mean, it's worth it. Now, I think it was a 1031 for them, so it didn't really make that much difference. It was a 1031, and they were doing a tax deal, and it worked out. But 